This video covers the Responsible Official or RO account. First we'll explain what an RO is, then look at how to create the RO account. The RO is someone who may use the GEO site to view and prepare applications, review and track submitted applications, track the issuance of permits, certify and submit applications, and designate preparers for their facilities. These last two responsibilities, the ability to certify and submit applications and to designate preparers, are roles only the RO has. So let's go through the process of creating an RO account using GEOS. In your browser, type epd.georgia.gov slash geos. In the panel on the right, you see links for the live and test sites. Select one, and then click the Create a New Account link on the right. Now enter your general information. Any field marked with a red star is required and has to be filled in before you may continue. If fields are missing, the system will return a validation error. Once you've filled in your information, click the Next button. Note that GEOS will generate a username based on your first initial and last name, but you have the option to set your own username. Click Next. Select the Responsible Official Radio button from the account list, then choose the appropriate account type or types. Click Next. This page will ask you to fill out some security questions. Please note that the answers you provide to these questions are case sensitive. Once you've answered the questions, click Next, then complete a picture verification. In order to be approved as an RO, you may have to go through identity proofing, either using eVerify or by filling out and mailing in an Electronic Subscriber Agreement, or ESA. If you're requesting the following applications, ID proofing is not required. Invoice payment only, RO and or owner for Brownfield, for hazardous waste fee, for hazardous substance fee, and for voluntary remediation program. Now for the following application types, identity proofing using eVerify or ESA is required. RO and or owner for stormwater industrial, for underground storage tank, for scrap tire, RO for municipal wastewater, for Title V, for SIP, for lead-based paint and asbestos, and for trust fund reimbursement request. If you're only going to be an RO for stormwater construction, then you have the option of opting out of identity proofing for the time being. In the future, there may be a requirement for you to go through identity proofing. If so, you'll be required to use either eVerify or the ESA option. Click the Proceed with eVerify option button. Fill in the fields, but be aware that you only have three tries to confirm your identity using eVerify. So after entering your information, take a second to double check that everything is correct. E-Verify requires you to use your legal name and also that you enter your home address, zip, and phone number. If you enter a business address and phone number, E-Verify will fail. Also note that your date of birth is required in the format two-digit month, two-digit day, four-digit year. If you make any mistakes, contact the GEOS Help Desk at 404-656-5261 before you make your last attempt at E-Verify. If your identity cannot be verified using eVerify, then you will need to use the Proceed with ESA option. Click Cancel, and then click Proceed with ESA option. Your account will be created, but you will be required to print, sign, and mail in a subscriber agreement. If eVerify was successful, you'll see this congratulations note, and you can click OK. If you use the ESA option for identity proofing, You'll be asked to print and sign an electronic signature agreement and mail it to the agency at the address shown on the ESA. The agency will verify your identity 
and make a decision about your RO request. After they've decided, they'll contact you by email. Since a hard copy form is involved, the ESA option can be time consuming. Click Print Subscriber Agreement. GEOS will autofill the subscriber agreement form. Fill out Section B, the type of request. Sign and date Section E, which is the signatory authorization. Sign and date Section F, which is the subscriber signature. Mail this form to the address listed in the upper right. Next, click back to log in and it will take you back to the home screen. Now, check your email account that you used to create your GEOS account to get your login credentials. An email will be sent to you from govonline at govonlinesaas.com with a username and temporary password. If you don't receive an email, make sure to check your spam folder or junk mail. If you can't find the email from GovOnline there, please contact your IT department. Once you log back in, you'll be required to create a password and a PIN number and confirm each. Passwords have to be a minimum of eight characters long, and they have to include at least one uppercase and lowercase letter and at least one digit number. Your PIN number has to be at least four digits. After clicking Save, you will receive another email notification confirming your new password. Be aware that the email does not contain the PIN number, so be sure to record this PIN number somewhere else. Go to geos.epd.georgia.gov slash ga slash geos slash public and log in using your username and password.